And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Soraka Gems, our next meme tier Monday deck. So what we got going on here is we're going to be pairing Soraka with some of these cards that create gems, like Mentor the Stones and Mountain Goat and even a Shards of the Mountain. And we're going to be, and so then we'll have a whole bunch of uh, spells. Now the gems heal our damaged allies, which is good for leveling up Soraka. But also, they're going to be spells that we get to cast with our assembly bot. So besides Soraka, the other part of our deck that's going to be important here is our assembly bot. So each gem that we play will be growing this thing. Because the thing about Soraka is it doesn't attack for very much. And when you do attack with Soraka, you want your opponent to block. Because you want your allies to be damaged so that you have the opportunity to heal your damaged allies. So therefore, you need big threats. Because if like all of your units are just like tutus... They can just, you know, pretty much ignore your your units and not really block them and not damage them, or block them with bigger things that kill them right away. So you need. So I feel like with Soraka, we're gonna need really big threats that they have to block with smaller things that damage our allies. That then we get to reheal them and so on. So that's our plan, and so that should pair well with Assembly Bot, grow Assembly Bot to be really big, and we're using the gems to uh, do that. Now we, we do need to win the game, and so therefore we have three Zenith Blades that can give our assembly bots overwhelm with the plus one, plus two. Um, so we got three of those. Of course, we also have Vi in here as well, which Vi is kind of the same thing. A Vi can can grow really big. Vi can challenge. We can make sure that Vi takes some damage to reheal. Um, and then Vi with Zenith Blade, also a very good combination. So that's the deck there. Mentor the Stone is also important of, of again, growing and, and making your cards real threats with Soraka. You need to be able to do that. We have some Bastions to protect since, since we're trying to make, you know, like singular, very large singular threats instead of going wide. We want to protect those very large singular threats. So Bastion does a pretty good job of that. Um, and that's basically the rest of the deck. All right, so let's go play our five games. We're gonna just play them over in normal because it is meme tier day today. Um, haven't really had too much success with Soraka in the past, but I think that maybe this will help out. And um, So this is a viewer submitted deck also. That's what the two Ds here mean, donation decks. <laughs> hey, slow, slow Dand. Hello, hello. I'm sorry to hear that, Breeze. I'm sure she lived a, a wonderful life. All right, let's see what we're, what are we playing against? Tom Kench Trundle. So they're going to be frostbiting my stuff and then trying to eat it with Tom Kench. We're going to get rid of the Broadback Protector, and I'm going to keep the rest of these. Keep the rest of these. All right, got all of our three mana units. Bless the faithful and fear the heretics. I could probably wait till my turn to play the Solari Soldier and have it attacking as a 3-3 instead of a 2-2. Alright, never mind. My Worked me. out. Basically playing Solari Soldier over um, Gift Giver, thinking that it's just a, a better uh, a better card against aggressive decks. Early and a little bit better threat. What do you think will be the make it rain nerf? I could see just making it cost an additional mana and just having it cost three. For doing you know, doing damage to three different targets and everything, that, that does feel like it should be a three mana card. Mystical levitation requires concentration. So Mentor the Stones could die to like a make it rain if they're playing make it rain. I'm not really expecting that. But I'd rather it die than um, any of these other cards. Celestial power. Follow the horizon. Over there. So I like getting all these gems to be growing our assembly bots. So my plan here is play assembly bot next turn, play another assembly bot, and then have all these things now. Make it rain. Make it rain would be devastating. But I want to get these assembly bots in play right away. Which I could play a gem here and turn this into a 3-2. But I'm going going real greedy. Oh. Gotta kill that. 
I guess I gotta have double Mystic Shot to make sure it dies. Let's take this outside. And there we go, that's why I played double Mystic Shot. not easy so I'm not growing my second assembly bot like I want to I feel like this is the better play I'm not really expecting pump cards I think they're gonna be playing just lots of frostbite stuff which obviously they may just have frostbite stuff here but I'm not really exp expecting them to be able to pump up and kill my Vi Yep. And of course that's that's okay for us for as far as healing. We we want to be healing. Ooh, I love Bastion. They just pass turn. Maybe I should have let them pass pass turn. I could level up Soraka this next turn. Wow, that card's great. This thing's a 3-3. Don't. I with by the power of the star. I really want to play my other four four uh, assembly bot. Let's talk about your death. All right, so they're gonna be getting level two champions. That's how we do it. That can be pretty bad, but we'll see. Just gonna keep bashing for right now. What do they got? Hecarim? Oh, Hecarim's good. Alright, Soraka's Wish. Let's heal these two. Above this Hecarim. Draw a card. That is good. Oh man, shards of the mountain to go along with these assembly bots. Where's our zenith blade? Where is our zenith blade? You are better than this. Oh man, this is gonna get silly. Get eight gems. Let's go. Butcher. All right, we'll gem you. That's healing. We draw a card. Take heart. Solari soldier. Um. Now nah, we don't really need to play you. We'll heal you. We'll heal you. I guess I shouldn't, I shouldn't target the Vi, because I needed to spread out the power. So I should probably just be targeting Karma. Just be targeting that all the time.
Yeah, it's true. Frostbites. Frostbites are a problem. So we could, yeah, we could pre-Bastion for Frostbite protection. Live with purpose. Take heart. Be at peace. Here's the fun part. Eat this. Live with purpose. But with Karma in play, they would still Frostbite anyway because they'd be casting it twice. So I don't think that would really help. Okay, cool. Got Karma out of here. They're going to have to have some good level 2 champions. Right, Teemo's good. Oh no. That's what I've been wanting to save my Bastion for. Old Thomas. Thomas Kench. Yeah, Assembly Bot's great. Where there's a will, there's a meal. There's nothing a good giggle can't fix. Lulu. We got the War of 1812 assembly bot. I don't know what happened in 1413. That was probably a cool year also. You're gonna block here. Because mm, I want my Mountain Goat to die so that I can play my Mentor of the Stones. But I guess I could, I could block this with... I guess it makes more sense to block it with something that's just gonna kill the Lulu. So they don't have an additional blocker. See you, Mountain Goat. Alright, there we go. First win, GG's. That's exactly what we want our deck to be doing. Perfect. Perfect first game. Bilgewater Noxus. Larry Fitzgerald. All right, but anyway, let's see. What do we got? We got Swain, Twisted Fate. We're going to keep Vi and I guess Astral Protection on Vi. And we'll mulligan these two. Look for some cheaper stuff. There we go. That'll do. Could have used you last game, Zenith Blade. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely weak to Hush for sure. But thankfully, not as many people are playing Hush these days. Yeah, that's not a card that we're really trying to be good against. Doesn't really make any sense to like play Soraka first to attack with Soraka and support, because the that support doesn't do anything. Bark Beast. That's like you, puppy. You're a bark beast. Star I'll clear a path for you. Double pack for the next kill. I understand. It's me going to thirteen. Oh, we'll heal our nexus for three. Attack and heal. Take it's almost like they designed these cards together. The feud for the men. Vi stands for violence. Alright, Vi will be a good blocker for us. No, drawing another Zenith Blade. We don't actually want to draw Zenith Blade. Ye. Okay, 
cool. No ravenous flock. Yuck. All right, so we're gonna going to kill Cascade our Soraka, block the Swain, take a lot of damage. You are better than this. Take nine, down to ten. But we'll gain three. I'll protect you. Being polite. See, I like getting the attack right away, but I guess I'm supposed to be Zenith Blading. <clears throat> I guess we're supposed to Zenith Blade Vi, but I don't want them to just have another stun card. You know, like Twisted Fate stun. I guess at that point I have Bastion. I guess I have Bastion for a stun card. I'm playing the Zenith Blade they know about. Never lost a fair game or played one. Fortunately, they did have the stun card. <laughs> Why don't they just not have all the perfects? That's an option, too. Alright, well, I guess I got punished for that. Ugh. Got a bunch of things with a lot of health. Well, I don't know what we do about that. Like Bastion's not gonna stop that. GG's. Oh, that's true. Swain's not leveled up. Okay, never mind. We're still good. Swain's not leveled up. Yay! I was <laughs> I was down in the dumps. We're still alive. Not dead yet. Take heart. Live with purpose. Get to kill this Leviathan. If they have another Leviathan, we're in a lot of trouble. So the Ravenous Flock won't do any damage because my Vi is not... Um, my Vi is not damaged. So that won't go towards Swain leveling up. So that will go towards Swain leveling up. Coming to save the day. I wonder with Overwhelm Vi if I should have been challenging like a... You know, just let them keep that combo, but then challenge like a 2-1 or something. And conviction. I wanted to stop their Leviathan Swain combo, which is what I did with Vi. That's why I did that with Vi. Um, but yeah, I guess I could have gone for the win of getting something super small with the with that shards of the mountain in hand maybe that's what I should have done was just go for the win especially if they have another leviathan that'll be bad Order, sir. Bring out on. take heart live with purpose 
Star Child. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. So we have two things stunned, so it's going to do one damage, and then the, the second and third will have two things stunned. So obviously Vi is going to get stunned. I'm not sure with Broadback Protector and Soraka which one of these two will get stunned. The Soraka is technically the bigger one with the higher mana cost, but I don't know if it will do three damage to itself um, first. Let's get to the fun part. Because like I want to spend a couple of mana with these gems this turn. I'm not sure which side it does the effects first. Okay, it looks like it's doing our effects first, so it'll stun Soraka. Oh no. I guess you can win. Oh no. Oh no, leveled up Twisted Fate's a problem. With the gold card. There we go. All right, cool. They didn't. They needed one more card because they need. They needed three things to turn on gold card plus another thing to target broadback protector after that, and they didn't have it. All right, GGS. Got there. Two and O. Oh. We actually Let's defeated Leviathan down. Swain. Uh, the bots like won our first game. All right, let's see. We got Lulu Z Vi with Ionia PNZ. Okay, that, that sounds pretty cool. So we'll have like Mountain Goat, Soraka. Um, yeah, I mean, I kind of like all this stuff. We're gonna need to get to our Soraka's to take damage. Ooh, love the assembly bot. Perfect. So we can start growing that with the spells. This is a scary deck. Like, all of these champions are scary. You know, like Zed's scary, Vi's scary. Lulu with Flame Chompers is scary. Yeah, they'll turn the Flame Chompers into a 4-4. Four, four. Kill my 3-2. No cool little combo. The big problem is that it threatens my assembly bot a whole lot. Yeah, how, do, how am I stopping that? I need to make large assembly bots, Time but night, don't have the ability to. Not yet. We need more mana, so we're just gonna have to wait. Star Child, I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you too, Vin. Always seeking new horizons. Hmm. I'll protect you. Intrepid Mariner. I'm gonna give Zed elusive. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Mystical levitation requires concentration. Whoa. The ocean calls. Anything else? <laughs> they won't 
Stony Suppressor actually did some stuff. <laughs> yeah, that was kind of cool. That was a cool combo of Stony Suppressor make our five mana spells cost six to help out Heimer and Lux make the 6 1 so elusive the turret. And they are bored. I am many Bonus deck's looking sweet. With us having no removal. Another path, another problem. We got plenty of Sorakas though. Guess brought back protectors dying. Stand back. Too many Sorakas. That's a good pill cascade. Um. Be in peace. Take heart. Beg your pardon. So one more heal card and then Soraka will level up. It's basically just how do we not die to these things first. That's gonna be pretty tough. We're gonna have to make this assembly bot super big. So long, City of Progress. Give it over one with Zenith Blade. We probably only have one more attack. Probably. Maybe we can maybe we can get both of our Zenith Blades out here. It's a lot of mana though. I know another route. Okay, well they're not getting the they're not getting the living shadow with this attack. Alright, so we're at six. I guess brought back protector could maybe heal us enough. Maybe. I'll clear a path for you. Good to see you. Gains another six before the next turn. One girl wrecking crew. Hope they can kill this assembly bot. No. That's fine. I'll protect you. All right, let's see. To heal and protect. I'll leave that first part to you, Soraka. Soraka. All right, we'll heal, heal here, draw a card. Another pill cascade. Okay. Definitely gonna attack for nine. I guess that's all I attack with. I don't know, this is probably a free attack. We're gonna be up at 12. They'll only have one Intrepid Mariner. Never mind, they're gonna have two Intrepid Mariners. Guiding touch is a good draw. One oh no. Alright, maybe I couldn't attack with that broad back protector. 
I guess not. That other Mystic Shot wrecked me. Uh, we're somewhere in Diamond right now. Uh, for today, we're not playing in Ranked for today. We're, we're just playing uh, games in Normal with it being at Meme Tier Monday. Oh, please do that. Yes, please make your 1-3 elusive. Yes, do that. I like all of this. They should be making Zed elusive. Because then the Living Shadow would also be Not elusive. All of us are immortal. And they should be using this help picks. picks make perfect. Not sure on that, but... I have many faces. Yeah, like, they're just not... Yeah, I mean, they're, they're just giving this to me. Oh, right, that thing's elusive. You are better than this. Okay. Going down to three. Stay alive from Mystic Shots. Still alive. I should draw a card. All right, there we go. GG's, three and O. Oh. All right, we, we should not have won that game. The stars will remember this day. And, uh... You know, learning their deck and everything. This This is cool. We'll keep Mystic Shot and Vi. I know Zenith Blade does work with Vi. Maybe I should be keeping Zenith Blade, but I don't know. There's three of them in the deck. We'll probably find one. Yeah, no Twisted Fate to go along with the Fizz. Possible. They just don't have like the the champion cards for that. Maybe. Oh, boy, here I go. oh, here he goes. Twisted Fate Fizz is usually a Freljord deck. I don't know if I've seen Twisted Fate Fizz be a Targon deck. Look at that, so smart. Waiting till turn three, so now we have Pale Cascade to draw a card. Worked out perfectly. That's a good one drop. <laughs> yeah, Fizz players are not a fan of Hush. Assembly Bot. Let's go. So Assembly Bot's pretty great. It's another good one drop. A little luck for those who need it. Yeah, it's a good one drop. So I think if they gem Fizz, I think that I'm going... Then I will Mystic Shot the Fizz. Afterwards. No mercy for heretics. We'll make that block, and I think that's it. Uh, I guess I guess you can just block over here too. That's fine. <laughs> well, welcome, angry Jamaican. Glad you're enjoying the stream. Yeah, for those of y'all that are newer, I'm I'm here every day. This is what we do. We stream Legends of Runeterra. We usually play tons of weird, wacky decks all the time. Um, and you know, like we we almost always play ranked. Mondays we do meme tier Monday. I have we these were all donation decks, viewer submitted decks. We have some more viewer submitted decks for tomorrow, so we're probably going to do some meme tier Tuesday stuff tomorrow. My passing turn. Salvage. I don't need a 
So I'm thinking they're going to have Pale Cascade. And then I'm going to, now, after the Salvage, now I Mystic Shot. Warning Shot's the worst case scenario. To stop this from happening. I just drew a Warning Shot off of that Salvage. At least that particular one. That's too bad. That was the worst case scenario, was Pill Cascade plus Warning Shot. But it's all good, we got two Assembly Bots. They're gonna be rocking and or rolling. Darkness hides my That's a bunch of elusives. I should play Broad Backed Protector this turn. Our 11 damage down. Be brave. I'm doing this my way. I'm glad they're getting rid of that hush. I don't like that card one bit. All right, so we're going to be casting another one of these to grow up by and grow up my assembly bot. Because I'm going to try to take down the elusives. Say bye-bye to the elusives, please. Make it rain. Make it rain doesn't do anything to buy, but it does something to assembly bot. One assembly bot down. I will block that with Vi. Thank you, thank you. I do have two gems in hand. There they go. They say these were from the protector himself. Come on. Alright, eight. Can't mess around. Okay. Don't really want to take more damage. Deadly pass, just another day in Targa. Alright, we'll have Zenith Blade for the Vi and the Bont. Do you get to play all three of these cards next turn? Alright, we're gonna lead with you. How many hushes do you think a a Fizz Targon decks play in? Hopefully not that many. We, just, we saw them burn one. To heal and protect. I'll leave that first part to you, Soraka. Oh, they tossed two. That's even better than tossing one. Definitely. I want to use the Zenith Blade they know about. That's definitely more important. Peace. Justice first hand. Eat this. Live with purpose. All right, two out of four. You spurn my gift. Protect him. All right, down to one. Levitation requires concentration. I'll protect you. Feel pretty good about this game. One life v Mystic Shot. Unseen, unheard. Looking into the future, I see purple. So they played the Bastion to give the plus one plus one, so they could stay alive at one life. Attack. Attacking is like way cooler. Go, floaty crystals. I understand. 
Down to four. GG's. That game's more fun. We get to level up our Soraka and stuff like that. So it looks like it's they who enter. I don't have... Oh no, it's Trundle. Okay. Zombie Trundle. Or Ledros combo. Really either one. Kind of the same thing. I don't have any... So let's see. We're going to have the attack token turn two. Which I'm going to mulligan one of these two drops, I think. But which one do we want to lead with? I guess we want to lead with the Mountain Goat. To try to create the gem. So anyway, just say for, for YouTube. So yeah, we're 4-0 we're in meme tier, so that means we're heading on over to ranked. That's where we're at right now. For this game. Um, I wouldn't say our actual champion is Vi. I mean, Soraka's a champion, too. Our deck's more built around Soraka. Our deck's not really built around Vi. Vi's just a great card, and so it's in the deck. Avalanche is a problem. Enter, traveler, and stop staring. I guess I have to keep waiting on Assembly Bot. No, I want to I want to play Assembly Bot. Maybe I just shouldn't be scared. Because I wouldn't have any kind of spell to protect Assembly Bot whatsoever, because we couldn't play a gem. Like even from like the deal one damage kind of things. We have Avalanche too. Alright, Vi, we're gonna need some help. I need some help, Vi. Alright, not gonna let them block. So, two gems. But basically, I'm kind of scared of Vengeance. Stop having that. I'm sorry, assembly bot. So because I was scared of vengeance, decided to get another threat out there also. I tried being polite. Flash freeze. Yuck. They're having good answers. Um, very good answers. Our mountain girls are full of dangers, but I know them all. Punch it. Ready for any freeze. All right, awesome. Coming to save the day. First trundle down. We'll see if they are playing like Rekindler. Could be bad. They are. Doesn't feel like they're a Ruination deck. Do have multiple other buys. Even if that is the case. Um, guiding Touch. Here. Hey, Soraka. Of 
Where are you at? Three out of four? So now I'm extending it again to heal and into Ruination. First part to you, but it hasn't really, they haven't really played like they have Ruination. We get to draw a card by doing this. Okay, we just drew another Soraka. So you know, like, you know, they do have Ruination. We got multiple Vines. They'll be leveled up. Well, I will go to attacks. Thank you. Down to six. I'm guessing their hand's not so great. So I know I could guiding touch the the Vi and draw a card, but I think that I think that we actually wait because this is kind of seeming seeming like Ledros combo, and I think that's how we would maybe lose this is is Ledros. Um, Say Bastion. You know, like Ledros Atrocity kind of thing that maybe Guiding Touch would help stop that. I don't know. It feels like we're going to be just fine. Alright, GG's! That's a knockout. Wow, yeah. <laughs> 5 0 with Soraka Gems and our assembly bots. And, you know, like we beat Twisted Fate Swain, um, played against some aggro, and, uh, you know, played against some control right there. They didn't have the best of hands, but, yeah, ended up winning everything that we played against. Ended up winning the games. Um, assembly bot was awesome. Yeah, assembly bot Vi. Vi was yeah, Vi was pretty MVP. Uh, yeah, Vi was amazing. But it worked out really well. The shards of the mountain was really cool. We we drew that multiple times and each time it was awesome. You know, like it was great with the assembly bot and everything like that. <laughs> yeah, like the meme tier decks are doing amazing today, but that that happens whenever you play normal. Honestly, we usually do pretty well with our meme tier decks, but that was kind of surprising heading on over to ranked and, and winning with this. And, um, you know, everything worked out well. All right, so that's Soraka Gems. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, feel free to leave those comments as well. Always love seeing those comments. Um, you know, what do you want to see on the next meme tier Monday? What do you want to see change in the format? What do you want to see just other decks on stream, you know, anything like that, or just what do you think about this deck if you're trying it out yourself or any of the other decks, you know, give me that feedback. All right, but anyway, thank you so much for watching some Soraka Gems, and I'll see you for the next video.